Alrighty. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Storytime. My name is Margo, and today, if you can tell from the title, I don't know where I'm pointing at or where the title is in relation to me in this live stream, we are reading books and singing songs all about food. I thought I would start off with one, a really fun book. It's called How Do Dinosaurs Eat Their Food by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. So this is How Do Dinosaurs Eat Their Food? How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he burp? Does he belch? Or make noises quite rude? Does he pick at his cereal, throw down his cup, hoping to make someone else pick it up? Does he fuss? Does he fidget or squirm in his chair? Does he flip his spaghetti high up in the air? This dinosaur has a spaghetti hat. I think that is incredibly silly. Does a dinosaur glare? Friends at home, can you glare with me? Let's do it on the count of three. Three, two, one. How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he spit out his broccoli partially chewed? Ew. Does he bubble his milk? Or stick beans up his nose? Does he squeeze juicy oranges with his big toes? No, he says, please, and thank you, and he sits very still. And he eats all before him with smiles and goodwill. He tries every new thing, at least one small bite. He makes no loud noises, that isn't polite. He never drops anything onto the floor, and after he's finished, he asks for some more. Eat up, eat up, little dinosaur. Now, our first song, well, it's, it's more of a rhyme than a song today. It's called Bananas Unite. So first, we're going to pick the bananas. All right, friends at home, can you help me by picking these bananas? All right, so we're going to go pick bananas, pick, pick bananas, pick bananas, pick, pick bananas. That was excellent. Now we've got to peel the bananas. So we're going to put our hands like this and then we're going to peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas. Now we're going to chop them. So we're going to use our hands and we're going to chop them up. Are you ready? Chop bananas, chop, chop bananas, chop bananas, chop, chop bananas. Now we're going to mash them up. We're going to mash them up real good. Are you ready? Mash bananas, mash, mash bananas, mash bananas mash mash bananas then we're gonna scoop up all the banana mash and we're gonna eat it eat bananas eat eat bananas eat bananas eat eat bananas and now we are going to do a silly dance and we're going to go bananas go go bananas i can't really do that silly of a dance sitting here go bananas go go bananas i'm fully confident that you friends at home did the silliest dance possible and i'm very sad i couldn't see it now, we have this very cool book. It's called Dim Sum for Everyone, and it's by Grace Lynn. Dim Sum has many little dishes. Little dishes on carts, little dishes on tables. Mama picks little dishes of sweet pork buns. Baba chooses little dishes of fried shrimp. Gigi wants turnip cakes. May May wants sweet tofu. I like little egg tarts. I think those look so very yummy. Reading this book makes me really hungry. We eat a little bit of everything. 
everyone eats a little bit of everything. Now there are empty little dishes. And at the end of the book, there is an explanation from the author uh, that talks a little bit more about the history of dim sum. And I'm going to read just a little bit of that to you. So dim sum was an important part of Chinese culture. People would visit tea houses after a hard day's work and socialize with their family members and friends. Tea houses began to serve small dishes of food for customers to snack on while they drank their tea. These small dishes of dumplings, cakes, and buns were called dim sum. Soon, dim sum became more popular than the tea. And I'll leave the rest of that for you, but I think this book is a lot of fun. I think Grace Lynn is a really cool author. So that was Dim Sum for Everyone. Now we're going to do another very silly rhyme. So this silly rhyme is about making cookies. And I hope you have friends at home can follow along with me. So it goes like this. I am making cookie dough. Round and round the beaters go. Add some flour from a cup. Stir them and mix the batter up. Roll them. Cut them nice and neat. Then put them on a cookie sheet. Bake them. Count them. One, two, three. Then serve them to my friends for tea. Let's do that one more time. I am making cookie dough. Round and round the beaters go. Add some flour from a cup. Stir the mix and mix the batter up. Then roll them, cut them nice and neat, and put them on a cookie sheet. Bake them, count them one, two, three, then serve them to my friends for tea. Now this story time is a little bit quicker than my usual story times, but that's okay. My last book for today is called Peanut Butter and Jelly. It's a little rhyme. And I picked this book, even though it's kind of short, because this book was one that I grew up with. Um, my grandma was a elementary school teacher, and when she retired, we got all of the books from her classroom, and this was one of them. So this book is very near and dear to my heart. And I hope you along at home, <laughs> you friends at home, will enjoy it as well. First, you take the dough and you knead it. You knead it. Peanut butter. I think I missed some... Yes, I did. I missed a whole page. I am very silly. It's just one of those days. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. First, you take the dough and you knead it. You knead it. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Then pop it in the oven and you bake it. You bake it. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Then you take a knife and you slice it. You slice it. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Then you take the peanuts and you crack them. You crack them. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Put them on the floor and you mash them. You mash them. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Now when I make a PB&J, I usually do not have elephants in my house, but it's fine. Then you take a knife and you spread it. You spread it. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Next, you take some grapes and you squash them. You squash them. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Glop it on the bread and smear it. Smear it. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. The end. That was a fun, silly little book, and I really enjoyed it. So, again, my story times usually go a little bit longer than this, but it's a little bit of a shorter one today, and that's okay. Thank you all so much for tuning into Storytime. Again, my name is Margo, and if you are interested, we have crafts left over for this week's Storytime. We should have them into this coming week. They're more dinosaur-themed than food-themed, because we did How Do Dinosaurs Eat Their Food. So if you go on over to the Reader's Theater and you ask for a craft, you can get a fun little dinosaur craft to go along with this week's story time. And I hope to see you this week. Um, see you this week if you are interested in one. Anyways, again, thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.